Welcome, welcome, welcome. Uh, I am your boy, D. Rob, and this is Leadership PD for Leaders. How's everybody doing? Hey, listen, um, I wanted to get right into it <clears throat> um, and uh, just uh, be brief because today I am talking how leaders challenge the process. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we're going to get right into this. <clears throat> How's everybody? How was the weekend? Yeah, I think I had a pretty pretty stress-free weekend myself, right? But it's it's Monday morning and we're back in the office and we some of us anyway, we grinding and whatnot. And um uh, we want to be uh, effective in our leadership. So <clears throat> I want to talk to that this morning about leaders challenging the process of growth. Leaders search for opportunities by seizing the initiative and by looking for outward or innovative ways to improve not just themselves, but others to help the organization thrive. Leaders, ex leaders experiment and take risks. And it's in this process, they begin to generate small wins while learning from experiences. So three keys that I, that I, uh, uh, that I read about and thought were effective to, uh, in the leadership challenge uh, process. And the first is, well, they are, let's see it this way, opportunity, experiment, and taking risks. So what do I mean by opportunity? Opportunity exists everywhere. The problem is many of us simply don't recognize it when it shows up. Often for leaders, uh, Opportunity requires us to search for it. Uh, opportunity also causes us to change up our approach to being able to identify opportunity in our life. Let me say this to you from one leader to another. Opportunity can very well be in your adversity, adversity that you're experiencing at your current time. Whatever that experience may look like opportunity might just show up there. So what I often share with leaders is this, that you simply have to shift your perspective when it comes to thinking about or identifying opportunity. So what do I mean shift? I mean, seizing your thoughts. Why do I say seizing your thoughts? Had you ever had a great thought, but you nullified that great thought with saying, no, that's not going to work. You never gave that thought a second, um, that idea a second, uh, a second look. You, you didn't run it up past it, anyone to get somebody else's opinion. You didn't even test it or experiment it for yourself before you already withdrew from that thought. So many of us uh, we miss opportunity because when it shows up in our thought process, we immediately toss it to the side. So seize your, your thoughts because that is, or very well can be, your opportunity. Hone your skills or hone your skill set. Send that ability to enhance um, and learn some new things in life that you begin to identify opportunity. Um, identify some strengths. When you begin to identify strengths, man, they speak volumes about who you are and what you can do. And it opens your eyes to opportunity. Get focus. When you become mission focused, task oriented, or focus on the, the goal that's set before you, you, the process of your thinking opens up opportunity. And lastly, transcend doubt and fear. So many of us are gripped by uh, doubt and fear that when opportunity shows up and we think it's a good, good idea, we don't even act upon it. So for the acronym of SHIFT and shifting your, your potential or shifting your perspective, it's there you find opportunity. Why do I share that with you? Because for myself, I had to shift my perspective. See, as I began to, to, to grow and, and, and develop as a leader, I realized that I was limited by what I was thinking. See, 
I would often have these great ideas, but I didn't often act on them. While I realized that I had to begin to act on those ideas because they are my opportunity. It, it, it gave me the ability not only to, to identify, but it, it, I honed my skills. My skills got better. I began to develop myself. Um, I began to identify some strengths and I, become, I had become uh, uh, focused on my goals and it began to transcend and remove fear and doubt from my life. I was shifting my potential. Leaders, begin to challenge the process by helping your team, uh, your followers, your organization shift. That's right. Seize, hone, identify, focus, and transcend their perspectives. Next, experiment and take risks. This allows us the ability to pursue after our passions and fulfill our, our potential. As leaders, we want to uh, experiment with innovative approaches to challenging others as well as ourselves. Let's use some un unproven tests or strategies and let's break away from the normality of life. The status quo, remove that stuff and experiment and take risks. It's said that the most effective way to grow is incrementally. And challenge your team's process to growth through small wins. This will change the old mindset and change the behavior within the organization. Leaders encourage others to generate small wins by leading others step by step to a process through new direction. Listen, I got it. Leadership is not, a, not an easy task, but the truth is there's a leader in each and every one of us. Um, and so, and remembering identifying who we are and being able to help and t um, others get to a place in life they like um, for themselves, it's important that we know as leaders that we help others seize opportunities for improvement. This will enhance and build enthusiasm and determination within your organization and on your teams. And it will strengthen and help them personally develop and grow. Lastly, um, let's be honest. Every, everybody loves small wins. They generate excitement. They give us energy and they build commitment. Small wins produce results and attract other people to a winning team. It will build confidence in your teammates or, or the individuals that you lead, and it will build commitment amongst the team. In closing, leaders challenge the process of growth by finding opportunity and seizing it. Take the acronym of SHIFT and shift your perspective. Leaders realize that in your growth and helping others develop and get to the place in life they so choose, it requires, me, requires you to take risks and experiment through generating small wins. Because we as leaders understand this, small win, wins build confidence and ignite the feeling of success, not only in individuals, but in our teams. And who benefits from this? We all do, and so do our organizations. Hey, as I always say, success is in your hands. It's up to you what you do with it. I'm your boy, D-Rob, telling you, let, um, inspiring you leaders to challenge the process of growth. God bless, and thank you for taking time to uh, chime in and listen. You, if you want to, you can follow me every Monday about 10 a.m. Mountain Standard Time uh, through my webpage, DwayneHRoberts.com. There you can get the link and chime in uh, live via the Zoom meeting or webinar. Again, thanks for taking time and joining me for Leaders PD. God bless.